How far away can you see the LEDs on a DJI Mini 3 from? Well, I'm going to fly Caledonia, my DJI Mini 3, out to up to three kilometres to see just how far we can see the LEDs. And then I'm going to bring her back and I'm going to fly her out again. And this time I'm going to turn on the two Flytron Cree strobes that I have attached to her. One's green and one's red. And see what distance we can see those at. Now, it's not completely dark yet, but it's certainly dark enough to see the strobe light flashing on top of one of those pylons there. So it's dark enough to see the strobes from Caledonia. Now because the LEDs on the DJI Mini 3 Pro are on the front legs, I'm flying it out backwards, which makes no difference to Caledonia. But it means that we'll be able to see the, the LEDs much further than we would be able to if she was flying out forwards. So I'll take it up to approximately 50 metres. And there she goes. Clear in the sky, not quite so clear in the screen, but very clear in the sky. And if you can see the the light in the sky there, which I believe is a planet. I'll take her up so that she's just to the right of that. So that, and she's coming up to the eight o'clock, eh, sorry, the four o'clock there. So she's at three o'clock to that star or whatever it is in the sky there, planet. Three o'clock to that and she's at 107 metres okay in height but she's a thousand metres away and I can still see her absolutely clearly I don't know if the screen is still picking her up I'm not sure about that and I won't know until I get it in the editing suite but I can assure you that I can still see her absolutely clearly in the sky with those LEDs flashing away green and that's her now at 1300 metres and still absolutely clear. And these are just the LEDs on the front legs that come standard. Now the only thing is that you can't do if you want to be able to see the LEDs is you can't turn on the, re the recording because apparently that turns off the LEDs and I'll test that when I bring it in a little bit. At the moment we've only got the screen recording going. In fact, have we got the screen recording going? Aye, we've got the screen recording going. Right, where is she? I took my eyes off her there and oh, there you go. Aye, I can see her now. She's down about five o'clock to that planet or satellite or whatever it is and still clear to see her and she's out at almost two kilometres now now she's getting pretty faint now but I can still see her although she is faint I can see her, so let me let me stop her there. Where is she? Right, she's at 2043 metres. 44 metres. Now if I look around, can I pick her back up? My eyes. I I can. I can still see her in the sky. Quite clearly actually. So I did not expect to be able to see, right, I'm, I'm losing her now, 
Right, that's about it. I can't, I'm not confident that I can still see her there. I think I can, I think I can, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's bring her back there. And that's at 2,000. Two, let me turn this wee lamp on. So that's at 2,218 metres where I... I lost confidence that I could actually see her. So I'll bring her back home. And I have to say that I was not expecting to be able to see her at that distance with just the LEDs. I was flying their backers though because the LEDs are on the front legs facing forwards. I didn't think I'd get more than three or two or three hundred metres. So to get over two kilometres uh, and still be able to see her in the sky. I'm hoping that you can see her on the screen. If you can't, you just have to take my word for it that I can actually see her in the sky there. And I stopped her when I just wasn't 100% confident I could still see her. I think I, think I could still see her, but not, I, c I couldn't say for sure. Right, so I'll cancel the return to home. And bring her down myself. There we go. Right, in this time I'm going to turn on the Flytron Cree strobes. Right, so that's the strobes on. Okay, and off she goes and I'll take her up to 50. And she's going. And this time she's in the left of that planet or star or satellite or whatever it is. That's her up at 50 metres now. And ma massively clean by. Let me turn this light off. Massive. You probably can't see me now, can you? <laughs> You'll never be worried about that. There you go, massively clear and bright. But nothing at all on the screen. So she's seeing nothing. So what I might do is I might stop the recording actually. And that'll put our LEDs back. Oh, we don't want to do that because that'll put our LEDs back on. So let's turn turn that off. And we'll, I'm going to take it up again to the, the maximum height. 115 feet, that's as high as I'm going to fly her. Right, so there we go. Clear and bright in the sky at a kilometre. Easy to see and hopefully on the screen uh, you can still see her flashing clearly there. That's a kilometre and a half. 
absolutely bright and clear in the sky. Much brighter than I am, I would imagine. <laughs> Don't even know if you can see me, but why would you want to? <laughs> Here we go. Easy and clear to see. So that's 1.75 kilometres. And still easy to see in the screen. Just going to bring her slightly to the right. Here we go. And that's her out and out. Two kilometres. And it's clear and bright, as you can imagine. She's flying in sport mode at the moment. Which to my mind isn't all that much faster. She's actually not in sport mode because when I switched it on, although sport mode selected, she'll just be in normal mode. So shut up, Robert. Now I'm not going to take her beyond three kilometres. You can still see her flashing away there. So there's no need to take her beyond three kilometres. So there's some trout jumping in the, the wee loch there. This is Belston Loch I'm at tonight. Now it's two and a half kilometres and she's still absolutely clear and bright in the sky. Both the red and the green flashing away there. 2.7 Still clear as a bell Clear as a bell? No, as clear as a strobe in the sky <laughs> That's 2.9 Well, just take her to 3 Here we go, 3 kilometres I'm going to stop her there. She's still absolutely clear in the sky. Clear in the screen as well. You can see her flashing away there. So I'm going to bring her back now. And here she is. Flashing away. Nice and bright. So do you actually need the Flytron Cree strobes? You'd certainly see her bright in the sky right out at three kilometres. But at two and a half you could see her quite clear and bright with just the LEDs on her legs. You'll have to decide for yourself.